Today, I am going to be making a Captain America shield from Marvel's new game, Marvel Realm of Champions. This episode is sponsored by Google Play, and this is Playmakers. You remember last month, we made the Iron Legionnaire's helmet. We've been Iron Man helmet. Well, since then, we've amassed a good number more champions. In game, there are seven to collect, and there's tons of extra adornments you can get for them. Look at our Hulk. He is just kitted out to the gills with stuff. Well, Google Play has asked us again to make something for them, and I think this shield would be very fun, but we want to give it a little extra razzle-dazzle, if you know what I'm saying. So how about we get some lights in it? We take it one step further like this. This is the Stark Tech Arc Shield. In-game is a brand new storyline that doesn't yet exist in the Marvel Universe. As it's a live service game, the game is always evolving. Uh-oh. You can engage in epic multiplayer brawls. It's the first Marvel game to really encourage you to customize your characters. So please, go download Marvel Realm of Champions on the Google Play Store by hitting my link in the description down below. Let's plan out this shield. So lots of people have made a Captain America shield on YouTube. I recently got a whole load of nuts to make a sculpture of my dog out of. We've got a lot left over. And I think we could make an utterly awesome sculpture. We incorporate some nuts, some lights, maybe a splash of paint. We'll see. But I think this is gonna be a fun way to make something cool. As I peel back the layers of this, of this project and I start it, I'm actually realizing this is a little bit more complicated. The first thing that came to my mind was to take a little bit of flat bar and use this to make the whole thing. And I kind of thought to myself, oh, I'd just, you know, then shuffle it across one and then shuffle it across one. But I wasn't properly visualizing just how much the added complexities of not only stacking things side by side in a circle, but at an angle would be. It's actually kind of complex. And I'm a little bit stumped for exactly how it's gonna work. And at a little bit of a crossroads about whether I start from the inside and go out, or whether I go from the outside in. What I did do to try and help myself is I've uh, drilled and tapped so that I could install this bolt here so that I can spin it around that central axis. And hopefully it'll actually end up coming together in this hemisphere shape. But this certainly stumped me for a little while as I've been trying to work out how to put it together. This is taking a long, long time. Just painstakingly positioning every single nut, trying to get the layers as evenly possible curve around. It's, it's taking a while. What I am happy about though, is I've got all the 10 millimeter nuts done. And not only that, the smallest nuts are at the outside, which means from here, we're using bigger nuts and we're going around a smaller circle. So we've got that outer red ring done. Now this inner silver ring is gonna be made out of these 12 millimeter bolts. But actually, I'm not so sure if it's wise to start on the middle ring because something peculiar is happening as I weld this. This is the form upon which we're welding it, but as we weld it, this middle bit is rising up. It's shrinking the nuts from the top and effectively giving it less curvature but this initial arch still has a lot of curvature. So to make this meet to this smoother, perhaps, the trick is we start with this ring up here of 16 millimeter nuts first. I don't know.
This is the last nut. At last. We're almost done. This has been days of welding. Days and days of welding nuts. But we've got the main body of this thing made. And I am dead. This is quite nutty. <laughs> this is quite an imposing piece. It is just heavy, big, awesome looking. But there's a, a few things that are lacking. If we circle back to the game, I feel like the shield that's in game has a much better delineation between these rings in there. Now we can achieve that with some paint perhaps, but it's a little bit annoying because my hope was that the different sizes of nuts would achieve that result. But not only that, the hole in the middle is quite nasty. I really didn't do a very good job of getting this to be properly circular. So what we might have to do is somehow modify these three nuts for it to have a better ring to it. But then again, we might get lucky and this extra star that goes on the front may just give me the opportunity to fill this in and make it look neater. We're gonna have to see how it develops. I still have a lot of nut welding to do. There's no chance this is gonna work. So tell me folks, what are the odds that I can actually weld a ring of nuts around a plastic funnel? So the plastic funnel allowed me to begin forming this shape. And from the top, it looks way rounder, which is great. We've also been able to make the star. We are making progress, but right now it's a little too pointy. So we're gonna fatten it up with a couple other nuts here on the side. So I've made some simple wall mounts. All it is is some round bar welded to some flat bar. And underneath the piece itself, I have some round tube and a threaded hole. One of the requirements I had in mind for how we mount this thing is that I need to be able to do it easily because it's only me and this thing is very heavy. So I need to be able to lift it up, slot it in place, and with this system we will. With this lovely starfish, we're preparing to give it a little bit of color but bringing it up to a blue temper. So we're gonna bring it up a few hundred degrees and that's gonna give that lovely blue finish. And after I do that, I have the very daunting task of painting this. I really appreciate the weathered look on the shield in game. With the amount of time we have, I don't think we're gonna be able to match that weathered look, but the plan is to put a dusting of paint on it. Just the slightest amount in those red areas. And the hope is that spritzing it on from afar is gonna give it a really, really light touch of it that kind of makes it look like this thing's been in battle once or twice and it's had all the paint scratched off. Finishes are so tricky. And that's the reason that I generally don't do a whole lot of finishes. Because I don't know how to do them well. Fire though, I can do fire. You know, I didn't think we'd be able to pull off something that actually looked that cool. This thing looks awesome. My absolute favorite bit is this star portion. I just love the way all of these nuts are able to flow so smoothly. This was a lot of work. I didn't know if I was gonna end up pulling off something that actually looked cool, 
but I'm really happy with that little bit of sculpture. Who knows, maybe we'll find somebody that wants to hang this in their house. As we end this, I'd like to give just that final thank you to Marvel Realm of Champions and Google Play for sponsoring this episode, giving us the opportunity to take on this challenge. Be sure to download Marvel Realm of Champions at my link in the description down below. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.